What's up everyone? I think this is a record for me uploading uh, three videos in a row. All within a day of each other. I'm off break so I'm trying to make the best of it. Oh, they primed the roads. I have to wash my bike off when I get back home. This is another thing, riding all, uh, all year round salt and stuff on the roads. I mean, I don't really ride when there's salt, but now that there's prime, I don't really know. As long as it doesn't fling everywhere, which I don't think it will. <clears throat> but y'all have to go wash that off so it doesn't rust or do anything, you know? I wonder if it's, I hope it's not slick. It doesn't seem to be. That'd be just my luck. Take my back out. It's like 30 six degrees right now Fahrenheit so it's almost freezing it's four four degrees away from being zero Celsius I think I'm probably the only only person out on a motorcycle today no one else is dumb enough to ride but like I said yesterday I'll, I'll ride all year round as long as it's not snowing I mean it's supposed to snow today but this is Knoxville, we don't really get a whole lot of snow, so... Probably won't be much. Oh, and uh, speaking of oil again, I don't know, I'm like an oil fanatic, I guess. I like to do a bunch of research. But uh, as for the 600, I did go over to AMS oil, but I'm actually just going to go back to regular Honda GN4 conventional oil, because that's what's in the manual. Not only that, but I also did that oil analysis and had Blackstone Labs review it. And they said that I could definitely go 3,000 miles uh, using GN4 on the 600. So I'm just going to use GN4 in everything. I use it in my dirt bike and I use it in the 500 here. But I'm um, so now I'm just going to use it on all my motorcycles. Because I have the facts. And I did a, uh, like I said, on my 600 oil analysis video. Um, I changed it to 2,086 miles and sent it in, and they said I could I could actually go to 3,000 miles, and that would be perfectly fine because the additives were still left in the oil. So that's good. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to run the GN4 1040 in the 500 in the 600. I also run that in the 500. It's probably a bad idea riding the Prom. Definitely gonna have to clean this thing off when I get back home. I didn't think they'd be priming the roads, but hell, if you're in the south and somebody says snow, people go fucking crazy and go to the stores and buying all the milk and bread. Can't find any fucking bread at the gas station because it's all gone. People swear up and down it's gonna be like a snow apocalypse. We ain't gonna be able to do anything. We only get like, I don't know, I think the, the biggest snow in my entire life, four or five inches maybe, but they actually had the, a blizzard of 1993, which was four years before I was even born. I was born in 97, and I'll be 20 this year. So they had a blizzard in 93, and that was a... They, like power was out for like a, two weeks or something like that. Oh, I love to hear this thing downshift. It's the best sounding deceleration. I'm actually super warm right now. I have my freeze out gear from Cycle Gear on. And I'm really warm. I'm curious, what are y'all's uh, preferences of gear in the cold? Like, what do y'all wear? Comment down below and let me know. I tell you what, this bike is the most windiest thing ever. Like, they designed it really shitty. Because the windscreen just puts all the wind right in your face. And so, it's so loud. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's terrible for the microphone, you know? That's why I've had so much trouble with sound. I gotta go over there, I'm running some errands for my dad. We're actually 
Oh, we're removing some fence that we had up for my aunt's dogs. And his chainsaw, one of those gears, little drive gears broke. We're running a too loose of a chain, he said. So I gotta go pick up one of them gears. And also his big uh, breaker bar broke. And it's uh, Sears Craftsman. And if you know anything about Craftsman, if, if anything breaks, you can take it back to them. And they'll just they'll replace it for free or fix it right there on the spot. So that's what I'm going to do. And they're actually, Dad said today here on the news that Craftsman's actually going out of business. So he told me to hop on this real quick and get that done. So that's what I'm going to do. For y'all that don't know, this right here is the airport motor mile. It's uh, McGee Tyson Airport in Knoxville, Tennessee. Long strip of straight road with a bunch of uh, car dealerships on the east side of the road, all the way down this road. That's why they call it the Motor Mile. And there's the Alcoa plant over there, it makes the aluminum. There's a lot of traffic to be a Thursday afternoon. It's only uh, like 3 o'clock, or 2 o'clock. I think it's just 2 o'clock, I think my clock's an hour behind, or an hour fast. Man, there's a lot of traffic. There's the start of the airport there. They're actually extending extending the airport like a mile long, 5,000 something feet. Let me know if you all like all these videos back to back. I mean, in a week, I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm going to be in Murfreesboro, but for the next three or four months. But when I come back in the summer, I'll try to do a, try to do one every other day or something. Maybe how I'll do it like now. Just let me know how y'all like it and give me some topics to talk about. Sooner, I'll be doing a... Uh, I'll be changing the air filter on this thing because it's almost 12,000 miles and that's what the manual calls for, 12,000 mile air filter change. And I think this thing's also using cooling again too because I looked, I looked before I came and the coolant levels dropped some in the reservoir overflow, overflow reservoir, which is, a Honda dealer, they had no idea, like they have no idea where the coolant's going. They've done replaced the head gasket, they've tore the engine down. Supposedly, I mean, they have no idea where the coolant's going, so, and they're certainly not going to give me another engine. I mean, this one runs strong. I just don't know where the coolant's going at the end of the day. But it's annoying every once in a while having to take the side cover off the plastics and then fill it up with coolant. And coolant's fucking expensive. Coolant's like eight, ten dollars a quart for Honda HP. I tell you what, today's been like the coldest day of the year, kind of, what it feels like. And like I said yesterday, I got my bright lights on because it's gloomy today. Just so people can see me back there. Oh fuck, a roundabout. Nobody knows how to do this in America. Take that European shit back over to Europa. I just had the coolest thing happen to me in Sears. So I took Dad's broken breaker bar. I took Dad's broken breaker bar in there for Sears. Their Craftsman tools are uh, like a lifetime warranty. No matter what happens, he can replace it. I don't know. Dad's had this thing for years. And finally a little spring broke on the breaker bar or whatever. So I took it in there and the guy went back there and uh give me a second, I'm trying to focus. So the guy took it back there or whatever and he told me to come over there. And they didn't have any of the same size that I had. 
So he's like, I tell you what, he was like, our inventory comes in at five o'clock today, but it's three o'clock. He was like, you can either come back or wait around until our inventory comes in and get the same size, or I'll just give you this next size bigger. Or he gave me the biggest one they had. He was like, I'll just give this one for you for free. So I just got a $35 breaker bar for free. I mean, it was it's long, some bitch. I don't know how it fits in my backpack. I barely got it in there, though. It's a good... I don't know. I'm not sure how long it is. It's some, more than two feet, though. I'm right at two feet long. So it's a pretty good size. Dad's going to be happy when I can bring him back that. So that's cool. Too bad Sears is going out of business because nobody has a uh, good customer support like that anymore. And I got to go pick up that little chain gear or whatever for Dad's uh, chainsaw. Hopefully this place is still open. I tell you what, I like this freeze out gear. I'm warm. So if y'all don't have any cold weather gear and you actually have a, a cycle gear near you, or hell, you can probably order it online. Just get it when it's uh, cheap. Like right now, the stuff's like half off or something. Otherwise, it's like stupid expensive. Just get it when it's on sale. I wish I had like a Royal Jordanian set up where I have like the microphone in my jacket and there's no wind noise or nothing. That'd be really cool. I'm running this fucking wood flies out and hits me. But I'll have it on video, so. 3540 license plate. What is this clusterfuck? out it's annoying as shit like quit moving I don't know if you're pulling out or not all right well that went relatively smooth this is fucking sketchy as shit now I'm not gonna be able to get the fuck out of here I've accomplished for the day. Now let's get out of this slick shit. That's scary. Let's go the hell home. I can see my breath in my helmet. Haven't been able to do that for a long time. Approximately one year. <laughs> Don't hit your fucking brakes, dude. Just look over. There's nobody coming. Don't touch your brakes. It's getting a little bit colder out. So actually, I hope it starts snowing, but it still looks like it's not going to. The clouds aren't really above us. I want to go ski, but I won't be able to do that for a while because school's too damn expensive. Well, guys, that does it for me for today. Maybe I'll have another one for the, the next day or two. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.